So uh, we have a long and uh, kind of illustrious history doing these motion-based games. The surprise was that it resonated so strongly with the public. You know, we've always been fans of that motion-based mechanic. You know, these people for whom traditional video games were not a very approachable experience. And I think that those people haven't been traditionally gamers. And these new motion-based mechanics are making gaming accessible to those people. That mechanic opened up a whole market segment that no one knew existed. Well, we had some meetings, uh, some very early meetings with Sony last year, uh, I think it was around uh, E3, in which we, we got a preliminary demo. And uh, my first thought was, oh, it's about time, because you know, it was mouth-watering to hear Sony talk about being able to take a motion-based mechanic like that and put it on uh, a next-gen pl platform where we could really deliver to our customers the kind of visual experience that uh, they've been used to getting. So uh, that, that was our first experience. The, the best part is the values I'm getting out of this thing. I mean, they're real world values. I'm getting millimeters per second. I don't have to determine, okay, what does minus 0.3 mean to 0.3? Is that, how fast was it going? I'm not doing all this stuff myself. I'm getting velocity. I'm getting a rotation out of this thing. So from that point of view, I came to a point where you can actually spin the ball. You know, I got real world speed out of it. I know what you're doing. I know where you're at. Um, the experience of bowling is totally different in an optical motion mechanic than in uh, the motion mechanic of the PS3 motion controller. Because as you bowl, you bring your arm back on the backswing and how you tilt your wrist during your forward swing of your arm uh, has a lot to do with where the ball is going to go in the lane. So, and the amount of hook that, uh, that it gets and the direction that the ball travels as it leaves your hand, those things are very difficult to get out of a, uh, an optical mechanic because we can't we don't get any information about the, the uh, rotation that's on your arm. Well, we've been doing a lot of experimentation with you know, the various platforms that are out there to figure out uh, which games are going to be fun and interesting and uh, resonate with people and which games are not really going to be good mechanics for that particular hardware. And PS3 Motion Control, I would say, um, is head and shoulders over anything else that's out there for console in terms of versatility. You know, uh, it's, it's hard to come up with mechanics that don't work well with PS3 motion controller just because you've got so much to work with. And so I think, you know, it opens up the PlayStation 3 to a whole new collection of game genres that really were not workable on it before.